Mr. Toastmaster of the Day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. In 1951, Langston Hughes wrote a poem called A Dream Deferred, and it goes like this. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat? Or crust and sugar over like syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load. Or does it explode? To understand my dream deferred, we have to go back to my childhood in Jamaica. I wanted to be a doctor. I loved my pediatrician. I thought she was smart. She always made me feel better. She helped people, and I thought that's what I wanted to do. So I studied math and science in high school, and later my mom and I moved to New York where I entered college with a plan to become a doctor. As I went to register for general chemistry, this is a requirement for medical school, got to the front of the table and the counselor said, sorry, but general chemistry is closed. He said there are five people on the waiting list. You're going to have to take it next year, a whole 12 months later. I was very disappointed. Based on my timetable, I needed to take it at that time and not a year later. He saw that I was upset and he said, sit down, let's figure out what else we can do. Tell me what you want to do and there are many chemistries available. By the end of our conversation, he had me convinced that nursing was what I wanted to do. After all, he told me, nurses get a lot of respect, they make good money, the hours are better than doctors, you won't have to invest a lot of time in medical school. They help people. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. And more importantly, the chemistry for nursing is open. So it was a no-brainer. As I studied nursing, one thing was clear. I really wanted to be a doctor. But I didn't want to appear indecisive. I was already on this road, so I kept on going. I graduated with honors, got a job right away, making more money than I'd ever made, and I worked three days a week. So the positive reinforcements were almost overwhelming. But on the other hand, there was this nagging sensation, this noise I couldn't seem to quiet, almost like something was eating away at me. And I knew what it was. I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. But I didn't know how to stop. One year, the chief of medicine pulled me aside, and she said, you really should go to medical school. She said, I see myself in you. I found out that she had been a nurse for eight years because a counselor suggested it, but she really wanted to be a doctor. She too had that nagging sensation, that noise she couldn't quiet. And after eight years, at the age of 30, she packed up her husband and three kids and went back to medical school. I said to her, I'm not going to do that. It's too much money, too much time, I'm going to be too old. So to quiet that noise, I thought more education would do it. So I went on for a master's in nursing. And yes, I made more money, had more autonomy, but that noise was like a constant companion. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to reconcile the two things, so I kept on going. Fast forward several years, and my dad passed away suddenly in Jamaica. Went to the funeral, and I stood there and watched him lower his casket in the ground. And I had a light bulb moment. My dad had died with all of his dreams deferred. And I thought there are probably many people buried here with their dreams deferred. I knew I didn't want to be one of those people. I figured death is going to come. It should catch me doing what I want to do. So when I returned to New York, I registered for the classes for medicine, including that chemistry that I hadn't taken years earlier. And I moved to Baltimore in 2006 as a first year medical student. I will, in fact, graduate next year in the class of 2010, finally with that dream that I deferred for so long. So Langston News asks, what happens to a dream deferred? And for each of you in here, that answer will be different. For me, it nagged at me. It ate away at my soul. And finally, a tragedy in my family caused me to go after that dream. Thank you.